Welcome to Nish News Weekly Broadcast. The Kerala government made a strong pitch in the Supreme Court to decommission the 126 year old Mullaperiya dam operated by Tamil Nadu and build a new dam. This was suggested at the Supreme Court as a permanent solution for removing the eternal threat owing to the safety concerns of the 126 year old existing dam in Mullaperiya and for protecting the lives of lakhs of people. stars strengthening teaching and learning for results a project aimed at improving the quality and governance of school education has started in the state the project is partially funded by the world bank the other states to implement the same project are himachal pradesh rajasthan maharashtra madhya pradesh and odisha the project will be implemented in areas such as pre school education valuation teacher training academic management and skill based education the kerala government will collect information about 1 lakh economically backward families among forward communities as part of a socio economic survey the sample survey is to find out the level of economic deprivation among forward castes and target welfare accordingly it will also identify the five most economically backward families among forward communities in every local body ward in the state Health Minister Ms Veena George informed that pulmonary rehabilitation clinics will be started in all 227 community health centers CHC across the state in the year 2021 Pulmonary rehabilitation is a comprehensive therapeutic program wherein the focus is on teaching breathing exercises and other aerobic exercise programs for improving lung capacity to a patient with chronic respiratory diseases it also includes help for tobacco cessation as well as counseling services to help the patients come out of depression in their life over to national news the central bureau of investigation cbi has registered 23 new cases against 83 accused persons in connection with online sexual abuse of minors and circulation of child pornographic material it also conducted searches in 14 states and union territories the cbi has so far identified more than 50 groups comprising over 5000 offenders who shared child sexual abuse material and several of these groups included foreign nationals multiple teams of investigators were developing the inputs over the two months which resulted in the registration of the cases In a series of measures to check pollution, the Commission for Air Quality Management (CAQM) directed that all schools in Delhi National Capital Region will be shut 
and the entry of trucks into the region except those carrying essential goods be restricted until November 21. Public and private sector organizations have to ensure that 50% of the staff work from homes. All construction activities will also be ceased until November 21. The Supreme Court has held that the admission supervisory committee in Kerala has a jurisdiction to intervene and if necessary initiate proceedings with regard to the admission process of the self-financing medical colleges in Kerala. The Supreme Court pronounced the landmark verdict in the case related to admission of students in the Kannur and Karuna self-financing medical colleges. The country's total tally of COVID-19 cases is 3 crores 44 lakhs 1670 and the number of active cases declined to 1 lakh 38556 the lowest in 266 days according to the Union Health Ministry 4 lakhs 62189 people died of COVID-19 in India so far over to international news the world's top two carbon polluters china and the united states pledged to increase their cooperation on climate action in a joint declaration issued at un climate talks in glasgow in separate news conferences chinese climate envoy xi shenhua and us counterpart john kerry said that the two countries would work together to accelerate the emissions reductions required to meet the temperature goals of the 2015 Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Schools for girls in Afghanistan Herat have now reopened after being shut for nearly 3 months after the Taliban took control of the country according to the media reports for the past several months only girls up to grade 6 were allowed and presently girls and young women in grades 7 to 12 are allowed to attend school Entertainment news Bird watchers are delighted as the Eurasian blackcap a small songbird has been sighted for the first in the country at Munar It is a native of Europe western Asia and northwestern Africa This little bird which weighs only 17 grams has been spotted for the first time in India The bird is popularly known as a blackcap and its scientific name is Silvia atricapilla The bird has been named black cap as the top of its head resembles a black cap. Black caps can imitate the sound of other birds. When the whole globe was watching Kerala film actor Dulkar Salman's face appeared on the world's tallest building Burj Khalifa in Dubai 
the one minute four second long trailer of Dilkar's latest movie Kurup was screened on Burj Khalifa. Through various social media pages, the show of the trailer was witnessed worldwide. This is the first time that a trailer of Malayalam movie appeared on Burj Khalifa. Dulka Salman, popularly known as DQ, is the son of the Malayalam superstar Mamuti. With this news, we come to the end of Nish News Weekly broadcast. I am Sylvie Maxi Mena, Nish faculty, presenting the news for you along with Ms. Mona Shah, deaf signer and Indian Sign Language teacher at Nish. See you again next week. Thank you.